The title of this book is Noodleheads Fortress of Doom by Ted Arnold, Martha Hamilton, and Mitch Wise. Illustrated by Ted Arnold. I'm Mac, and I'm Mac. We're Noodleheads. Teacher says we should try to fill our empty heads with knowledge. Sounds painful. Where do we get knowledge? Good question. Let's ask someone in here. So there's knowledge in books? Who knew? Look at mine. Here's mine. Now we will fill our heads with these books full of knowledge. No, I think we read them and the knowledge will fill our heads like magic. That's a relief. Hey, here's a joke. What is the tallest building in the world? I give up. The library. It has the most stories. I don't get it. Me neither. Knowledge is hard. Maybe your book is easier. Chapter 1. Noodleheads, Fortress of Doom, if we build it. My book is all about the Fortress of Doom. Hey Mac, what's all this wood in our backyard? This stuff wasn't here when we left the house this morning. Whoa, I have the best idea ever. With this wood, we will build the Fortress of Doom. How? All the knowledge we need is in this book. Actually, it's here on the cover. We just build it until it looks like the picture. But we don't even know whose wood this is. It's in our backyard, so it's our wood. I'm going to read another joke. What kind of nail does a carpenter not want to hammer? Wham, wham, ouch! A fingernail. Get it? Yes, I get it. Okay, one more. Knock, knock. I said knock, knock. What? It's a knock, knock joke. So? Knock, knock. So you say, who's there? But I can't see you. I know, but you say, you're the one telling the joke. Right, okay, knock, knock. Just say it, knock, knock. No, you say, knock, knock. Okay, who's there? It's me. No, you say boo. I'm not boo, I'm Mac. And I say, boo hoo. Go ahead and cry because that is one sad joke. <sighs> Jokes are hard. So quit joking around and let's build the fortress. Okay. Wham, 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 saw, 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 saw. The Noodleheads Fortress of Doom, Chapter 2. Guarding the door. Hours later. Yay, we finished. Now what? Well, the way the book starts, they are guarding the door. Why? So no one can take the fortress from them. Good thinking. I'll get us a snack while you guard the door. I got it covered. Minutes later. I got the snacks, Mac. Great. Huh? What are you doing way over there? I followed a really cool butterfly. Come and see. But you're supposed to be guarding the door to the fortress. I am guarding the door, but the fortress is way over there. And I'm guarding the door here. It's safely hidden behind this bush. Oh, okay. As long as you're guarding it. Now, let's put it back and have a snack. All fixed now. Let's go inside and eat. Nice. Let's get comfy, yes. Ah, oh wait, you forgot to shut the door. No, you forgot to shut the door. No, it was you. You forgot. You forgot. No, you forgot. Shut the door. No, you shut the door. You shut it. 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 What? But how? Wait. Stop. I have an idea. The next one who opens their mouth has to shut the door. Okay. Okay, starting now. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Hey, cool fortress. 
Oh, look, you went to the library too. I got a great book. It's all about tall tales. Let's sit in here and read our books together. And then, Meatball, this is our fortress and you can't come in here. Hey, Mac, you opened your mouth first, so you shut the door. No, you opened your mouth first. No, you opened your mouth first. No, you opened your mouth first. While you two figure things out, I will have a nice little snack. Meatball! Fort Noodlehead's Fortress of Doom, Chapter 3, Taking the Fortress. Out, 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 out. Slam. Wait, I dropped my book inside the fortress. Hey guys, I bet I can beat you in a contest. I bet you can't. What kind of contest? Come on outside and find out. Okay, so what kind of contest? Um, well, what about a lying contest? Oh, we're really good at lying. Wait, what do we win? No, not a lying down contest, a lying contest. Who can tell the biggest whopper? Like these tall tales. If you win, I will go home and not bother you anymore. Yes, good. If I win, I will go home. And I will take your fortress with me. That's too easy. We're even better at tall tales. Listen up. After I was a baby, I grew so tall, my blanket didn't cover my feet anymore. To make it longer, I cut off the top half of my blanket and sewed it to the bottom to cover my feet. And the best part was that I did it to make my blank. <laughs> and the best part was that I did it to my blanket too. Good tall tale, right? We win. Go home now, meatball. Bye. That story was so boring. Even my feet went to sleep. My turn. One time I survived a bad, bad storm. It rained so much the creek began to rise. That creek rose so high I could walk under it. The wind was bad too. I saw a hen lay an egg and the wind blew that egg right back in her. I started to laugh at that poor chicken. Just then a fish fell from the bottom of the creek right into my mouth. Ooh. I swallowed it. It was swimming around in me. That's awful. Is it still there? No, my dad got his fishing pole, dropped a line down my throat, caught the fish, and cooked it for dinner. Now that, my friends, is a real tall tale. But there's nothing tall in your tail. The hen isn't tall, the fish isn't tall, and you aren't tall. And besides, our story is true. You made yours up. You're just a big liar. You're the biggest liar. A tall tale is a lie. This was a lying contest and you just called me the biggest liar. I win. The fortress belongs to me. I'll be right back with my tools and wagon to take the fortress home. Oh, there you are. What have you two been doing all day? We've been building my garden shed. This wood was for my new garden shed. Actually, this isn't so bad if I just move this board, straighten this, cut this board, paint this, saw saw, wham wham. That's better. Thank you boys for helping me get started. Here, I come to take my fortress home. Hey, where's my fortress? What are you talking about? My fortress was right here. Sounds like a tall tale. You cheated me. Wow, this time Meatball is the big loser. And it's all thanks to... Slap Hands. The Garden Shed of Doom.